Hey, what's up everybody? So as per fan requests, I decided that I will show you guys my artwork. Uh, I've had several people that watch my channel and listen to my radio show, The Beehole. They, they've asked me to show them, to show you guys my, my drawings and paintings, talk a bit about them. And so I'll just take the time to share my artwork, art, artwork with you guys and tell you why I like doing it. If you guys don't care about my artwork or not interested in listening to why I do it or, or where I plan to take this, then turn off the fucking video and watch something else. If you don't care, don't fucking watch. Simple as that. Um, yeah, so, by the way, sorry, sorry for the sound quality in here. That This room's like, like Kamai House, like uh, houses here in Cambodia aren't, aren't very... They're not very well uh, insulated, so the sound kind of bounces off the walls. Anyways, I started painting about a year ago, and then I took a, a long ass break. I just like stopped doing it, and then uh, I decided that I should do it again because I think I think I've got a pretty unique style when it comes to it. So I uh, I guess I'll just shut the fuck up now and show you guys my show you guys my artwork. So. Let's start with some of the first ones I did now. I did these around a year ago. Now these are drawings I did. This one, this one you can have a look here. It's called Bloodshot. And uh, you probably can't read that now, but I put the, uh, put the name, I put the date. I did this one December 8th last year. I did this with just with color pencil and charcoal. Hope you guys like it. This was actually the very first drawing that I ever did in Cambodia. And I really like to do the detail, if you guys can see the detail. I'm really, really into that. So this is uh, based off my first ayahuasca trip. And this is kind of the things I saw. So you have the mountains there. For, for some odd reason, I really enjoy putting like mountains and things like that in my drawings. This one's called The First Time Seeing. And this is also based off an ayahuasca trip. And I like to, uh, as you can see, like put the details. This is obviously a, a human head. And then it's kind of the earth on top here. You can see the mountain and the sea. See all that, the detail there? And this, this is the brain. What's that letter K for? I don't know what K stands for, guys. I have no idea. Anyways, yeah, so this is one of my favorite ones. I, I think it's one of the most uh, unique things I've done. This one's called the K-hole. And under, under here is the K-hole. So you have, for whatever reason, a punching bag. You've got a noose on it, a giant rat. You got the K-hole right there. A mysterious figure, an aberration in the corner. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what they're doing there. And uh, this is this is what paranoia feels like. You got all these eyes looking at you in the sky. That's what paranoia feels like, guys. This one I just did the other day. I like to do uh, acrylic paintings. And basically, like this green shit right here. This is what. One day I was tripping balls on ketamine. I was I was here. I was tripping balls on ketamine. I look out my window when there actually used to be trees here, and all the trees together when I was that high looked to me like this. It kind of had this this thing here. It kind of had this this uh, this one's called alone in the alone in the wild. This one. If you guys don't give a fuck, then fuck you. Turn the damn channel. This one is called Walking with Mom. This was inspired by a story that uh, somebody in my life told me. And I kind of felt what they were talking about. And I decided to make this. And uh, this is like, this two hands here. This is like the mother, the mother and the, uh, I guess you could say the daughter connected. These are my new ones here. Now, I, I actually posted these up on Facebook last night. And uh, the owner, or I, I guess the manager of Cloud Bar here in Phnom Penh, so shout out to Cloud Bar, uh, Street 9 here, they, they, they do art exhibitions every so often, and he actually saw my paintings, he, I guess he was interested, thought they were neat, and wants me to do an art show, so I'm actually planning to do an exhibition for my paintings and drawings here in the next month or so, so I think that's pretty fucking cool, that's, that's something I'm proud of. I made this one last night. And it's cool, like, uh, if you guys want to know where to get art supplies here, you can go to places like IBC. I'm really, really into fine detail. IBC is like a stationery store. Um, that's supposed to be me, by the way. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not very good at painting, like, uh, people or things like that. I'm, 
more about feeling and uh, maybe I'll get better at that in the future. This one is a lot of people's favorite. Th this is the one and oil, uh, only oil painting I've done. It's called Planet K. Obviously it's inspired by ketamine use and uh, experimentation. I really do like this one. Um, and yeah, like I'm going to try to sell my artwork as well. This one's called Naked. I did this all with colored pencil. I did this about a year or so ago. You can see like I'm really, really into the fine detail of it. Like I, I, I probably spent like four hours doing this. Like I just sat on my desk and uh, this one's, this one's pretty badass I think. This one's called Drowned. I put all my stuff up on Instagram and my, in, in my personal Facebook page. Uh, if you guys want to follow me at Brayton Like Satan, I'll leave all the description. Uh, I, I'm sorry, all my contact information in the description rather. I did this my first time ever trying LSD. And it's kind of cool because I feel like that's a face right there, like the eyes and the nose and the mouth. I like how things like that happen on accident. I like this one. It's called uh, ICU. Like as an ICU. It's also inspired by paranoia. This one, A Christmas to Remember. That's me in the middle there. I'm inside my little, inside my trip, inside my K-Box all by myself, but my friends are around me tripping balls, having fun. That was uh, a tribute to last Christmas. Now this one is also one of my favorites. It's called Unfolded. And this goes back to a night I had where I was, I had a very intense trip. And I basically experienced this where this this house I'm inside this kitchen and you can see the other rooms in the house there where the house is like folded in on itself if that makes any sense so like it was a regular house and it folded in into like it like an uh, the fuck would it be like a like an inverse cube if that makes any sense and I was seeing I had some visuals with, with this red yellow and blue right here and all the all like the pixelation right there and then we were talking about riding camels through the desert and I just had the image of these pyramids there and the house at the same time. And last but not least right here, this one is called, uh, the fuck did I call this one? Entangled or ensnared, yeah. Basically, well, you guys can kind of interpret it for yourself. Anyways, man, I have a couple more that I wanna show you guys. Uh, I also did these ones too. It's, uh, it's actually kind of funny to me because my, my, almost my whole life, I've been into music, well, like, like, I guess like the art scene, because when I grew up, I played drums, I was around music, but all the people around me, when I told them this shit, because like, I, I didn't look like it, I guess I didn't look like a musician, it's my, I'm walking out through my house here, um, <laughs> my, my dungeon, people, people never believe that I play drums. They never believe I was a musician. Like when I have clients over here to train them, they 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 ask. They always ask like, who did the paintings? When I say, oh well, I did. I did them. They're like, oh, whoa, really? Oh, okay. Because I'm a personal trainer. I did some kickboxing. But what but what you all don't know about me is that I just did kickboxing for a few years of my life. Like I'm 28 years old. Do you think I've been kickboxing for 28 years? I did that for a few years of my life. I trained. I fought a little bit. I stopped and I really don't miss it. Like I like I enjoyed the training and I'm glad that I know how to fight better now and I can better defend myself and the people with me, but like I'm not like that's not what I want to do with my life, man. If I had any choice, it would be uh, an artist to be to go down a creative path. That's 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 what I truly love to do. Like that's that's what I have a pull towards. Let me just show you these real fast. Obviously, I have a very psychedelic style. Uh, there's a lot of room for interpretation, but this is basically, you know, like feel this, right? This is a thought. This is a feeling I have. It's it's uh, it's an emotion, and maybe it sounds pretentious for me to say that, but that's just how I feel. This was a ketamine trip I had when I first moved into this house, and I had these visions of my brother, who's actually right here. Now, I did not paint this. A former roommate painted this, and I do thank her for doing it. Uh, we, we no longer speak or anything, but she's a damn good painter. Gotta give her that. Anyways, I had a ketamine trip and uh, I was thinking a lot about my brother, Clayton, that's him right there. And uh, I had these visions of me like going through the earth to the other side of the world. Like I'm trying to like feel my way through the earth. And then I finally rise up through the soil, my hands 
through our backyard in our old house, and then finally I'm home again, right? So that's what this is inspired by. And this one right here is, uh, you guys can see, it's like the universe leaking into the earth. Got the pyramids in the desert, the spinning sky, got the ocean, and then you've got hell. This is fucking hell, and I actually do have real blood on here. I, I believe that I, said, that I mentioned that in a video before about my, about my paintings up here, but anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe some of you find it interesting. Um, definitely, definitely follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting all my artwork on there. I'll keep everybody posted about my art exhibition here in town, and hopefully, hopefully this is just the beginning of something cool because I enjoy painting. I enjoy drawing. I enjoy doing artwork. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to do. It helps me take my mind off shit that bothers me and uh obviously i'm not the only one but that is something so anyways y'all i hope you guys enjoyed my artwork if uh you guys want to shoot me an email any video ideas no joke striking at gmail.com instagram at brayton like satan facebook.com slash no joke coward if you want to check out my radio show called the b-hole i'll be posting them on the on the channel main page on the on the no joke coward main page and uh, also just check out the b-hole the letter B hole on uh, YouTube, and I'll put all the shit in the description box. All right, y'all. Peace.